what is future faking and how do narcissists use it against us? That's what we're talking about today at queenbeing.com. Let's get started. My name is Angie Atkinson and on this channel I offer free daily video coaching to help you discover, understand, and overcome narcissistic abuse in toxic relationships. I like to call it toxic relationship rehab. So if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button and let's get going. So the most basic definition of future faking is when somebody basically talks about or hints about the future and pretends things are going to be a certain way in order to get something they want right now, right? You can already imagine where I'm going with this. This is something that narcissists do in general. When you're going on dates with narcissists early in the relationship, they promise you all the best things in the world. It's about pretending to be something you're not. It's about pretending to have goals that you have no intention of following up on. Future faking for narcissists and anyone else who uses this tactic is a manipulation tactic. Now, there is such a thing as being excited and happy about the future and planning to get what you want by attracting that, by focusing on having it right so it's confusing because a narcissist might use it just to lure you into their bed or whatever while a regular person might say you know in the future I'm going to own my own business or do this that or the other thing and they might really mean it and they might really have every intention of doing that so it's confusing right because how do you tell the difference between somebody who's future faking and somebody who's being realistic and trying to say these are my dreams and goals can you? The thing about future faking and narcissists is that a narcissist, again, will use it as a manipulation tactic in order to get closer to you, in order to get information from you, or maybe to get you in bed or to get you married even. Narcissists use future faking without any actual intention of being what they say they want to be. And they do this habitually across a number of different relationships and across their whole life story. They talk about the future, they pretend they're going to get married to you, or they really, you know, they're going to buy you a big ring. For example, my ex-husband actually asked me to marry him over the phone. <sighs> yeah. And I said to him, okay, but you have to ask me in person and you have to give me a ring. Well, I stupidly married him even though he never did ask me in person and the ring that he gave me was not given to me until about six months before I divorced him <laughs> and it was a little tiny chip of a thing. See the difference between somebody who's future faking and somebody who's actually building a future is action, is is taking steps toward the future. Someone who believes that they're actually going to make a difference in their future, that person is working toward finding their own path. They're trying to find their way. They're trying to take steps. They're planning. They're thinking about it. They're doing things. They're taking action. A future faker might talk about it and pretend to do things, but there's nothing actually being done. Future faking with narcissists might also be used as a way to tell you, you know, just what you want to hear. So you might notice that you said to them early in the relationship or on the first date or something, you might have said, oh, I'll never marry anyone unless they have, you know, a job in making X amount of dollars. I don't know why you would say that, but let's say that you said that and, you know, you wanted to make sure that this person had a job and had this, this, and this, and this. Well, a, a narcissist might on the next date or the third date or the fourth date might go, oh, as, as though they thought of this, they might go, well, I want to be this, 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 and this, all those things that you said, you know, and I'm working on this, 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 and this. But talk is cheap, my friend. Watch for action. For narcissists, they are only thinking about what you think about them in that moment. They're enjoying the flattery of your reaction. They're enjoying how you acted when they said X, Y, or Z, and how they think that you perceive them as a result of X, Y, Z. The truth is that if they thought about the expectations they were creating in you, they probably would still do it anyway because they're narcissists and they don't care how you feel. If you thought about the expectations that you were creating in someone who you had accidentally future faked, you probably wouldn't do that because you would understand that you were creating expectations you probably wouldn't meet, right? Here's the thing. In either case, with a narcissist, what will happen is that at some point you're going to realize that they lied to you and you're going to call them out on it. You're going to be like, this isn't what you said at the beginning. I thought you told me you were the nicest person you've ever met. <laughs> you told me you were the nicest person in the world. You told me you were motivated and career driven and you're none of those things. What the hell? Well, when you go through that moment, what happens is the narcissist goes, hmm, hmm, I don't really think this is working out for me anymore. 
I think you're a little too pushy. I think you expect too much of me. We were just talking that day. It didn't mean anything. You know, suddenly they start to real, you know, roll back and, and go, well, never mind, never mind, right? They feel like somehow you were slighting them by asking them to follow through with what they said they were or what they said they, they could be. They, they write you off. They blow you off. They discard you. And then guess what they do? They go back to the same old, same old and they play the game and they do the thing and it doesn't change. Nothing changes. They go back into a new relationship and they start the same old cycle again. They lie. They suck them in. They love bomb them. Everything is perfect. And then boom, they find something wrong with that person. They devalue. And then boom, they find something wrong with that person. They discard. And then depending on where you fall in that cycle, you may be getting hoovered at the moment the other person is being discard, discarded or Maybe that person will get hoovered. This is why a lot of uh, a lot of narcissists end up getting with their exes again, like I said, because they, they remember, oh, I made my ex feel good when I said this, that, or the other thing. That's why they come back and they hoover you when they get a new supply and it doesn't work out with that person. Eventually, what will happen is that the narcissist will stop believing their own hype. Right? And that's when things get ugly. There are only so many times someone can blame the excuses, the same old excuses they used to blame before they can't escape it anymore, right? I think one of the best things that you can do to avoid having to deal with this in the future and being, and also to help yourself see it better is to quite honestly stop telling people what they want to hear. Because then when you hear other people doing it, you will know, A, that that is out of line and not normal or not, you know, that it's potentially future faking and B, you know, it'll stand out like a sore thumb and B, you will learn to be yourself. You will learn to be honest with people. You will learn to be open and to be who you really are without apology, without a single bit of shame. You should be yourself openly and honestly no matter what. Future faking from a narcissist is one more example of how we we should learn to be different. It's one more example of something that doesn't work in a healthy relationship, doesn't work in real life at all, and only causes harm to the people in the circle of abuse. Don't get yourself involved in things that are just about feeling good. Don't verbally agree to or connect with anyone who seems to be blowing sunshine up your ass, as it were. If you're not sure, take a clue from these people over here in the state where I live in, Missouri, which officially used to be called the show me state. You know, <laughs> you may have heard me say before, hey, I'm from the show me state, you've got to show me. But that's the truth. Make them show you. Don't allow them to just assume anything. Future faking is really just a tool for the narcissist to keep you hooked. See, because the narcissist will give you little tips, little hints, little things, and these things will help you to feel more controlled in the present. The narcissist has more control over you when they future fake you. In some ways, it's a way for them to teach you how to treat them, teach you how to behave in the relationship, sort of manage your expectations, right? For example, if they talk to you about their ex and how their ex abused them and did all these horrible things to them, you know, let's say they say, my ex cheated on me and never listened to anything I said and was always horrible to me and I didn't do anything wrong. Well, they might be projecting all those things onto their ex, but what they're teaching you is that you need to be faithful to them and listen to everything they say and assume that everything they do is right. See? Future faking from by using the past. It happens. The thing they use future faking for is to wrap up a disagreement, okay? So let's say that you're not married yet but you're in a relationship with a narcissist and you're just, you're at the end of your rope, you've had it. And you know, the narcissist knows that you've been trying to get married for a lot of years, right? So the narcissist all of a sudden says to you, oh, you know what? I know you want to get married. Would it make it all better for you if we just got married? Then would you believe I love you? Would that be enough? You know, and you're like, oh, sure. Now you didn't get a proposal. You didn't get a ring, but you got a promise. And now you're walking around telling everybody that's my fiance and you feel better about things, at least temporarily. And that's exactly what the narcissist wanted so that the narcissist could, con narcissist could continue to do their own thing. Of course, then you don't get married. And then let's say in the same example, this narcissist, you know, two weeks, a month, six months later, you know, you're, you've had it again, you're done again, you've, you leave the house, you're out of there, right? You're, you're joining span, you're in the group, you're doing all the things. And then all of a sudden you get this text message and you're like, and the narcissist says, hey, meet me over here, over there. 
and, and you go and you meet that person and suddenly they have a ring for you or they have a whatever women give to men or other women or whatever. You know, they have some kind of an item for you that says, let's really get married. Then they marry you and then you're really screwed because then everything starts again. Once they marry you, of course, they have legal hooks into you as well as lots of other kinds of hooks and it, it's harder to get away. It doesn't mean they've changed. It doesn't mean now they're serious. It means they weren't ready to be done with you as a supply. So they're going to do whatever they can to keep you around. They future fake you when they first meet you. They tell you that, oh, I've never met anybody like you. I, I've, you're, you're, the, you're the perfect man or woman for me. I know you're going to be a good parent someday. You know, I'd love to see you have my baby or I'd love to have your baby. They mirror you. They pretend that everything that you do is like what they do, that y'all are so similar. Everything's in common and soulmates, blah, blah, blah. That's all future faking with the narcissist. If you think about it and you look back at your life and you think about all of the things that have happened with the narcissist up to this point, you can probably remember that most of the things that they promised you in the beginning turned out to be false. And those things that were true were very corroded and ugly, right? So here's the bottom line to all of this. What I want you to do at this point is I want you to begin to focus on yourself because you've had enough lies. The narcissist has baited you and kept reeling you back in emotionally with all of these future faking kind of lies. I'll be different. I promise. Everything's going to change. Everything's going to be perfect. But if you're anything like me, there will come a time when you'll hear the lies and you'll know the lies and you'll look at them with no light in your eyes. You'll look at them and you'll know the truth and it will break your heart. But if you've gotten there, then you know that you're ready to go or you've, you've you're ready to move on. That's when you start to notice that it wasn't really ever the narcissist that you were in love with. It was really always about the, the lie that they sold you, the fake future they sold you. It sucks, but when you get there, things can start to get better. When you get there, the narcissist loses their control over you. When you can emotionally detach from the narcissist, when you can look at them and go, you lied to me. Everything you said to me was a lie. Everything that I believed you were was a lie. Well, then, my friend, you're on your way to recovery. One step at a time, you know? One day, one moment at a time. Whatever it takes for you, you can get through this. It's going to get better. Every single day, just a little bit. You're not the crazy one here, my friend. Don't forget that. You're not the crazy one. You have been duped. It doesn't make you stupid. It doesn't make you bad. It makes you human. Everybody wants to be in a loving relationship with someone who treats them with love and respect. And the best part is that everybody really deserves that. But remember this, when you get through all of this and when you get over the narcissist and when you stop feeling addicted and you stop feeling connected to this person, every single day, it's going to be a little less addiction, a little less connection, a little less of that. And one day you're going to wake up and you're going to go, oh my gosh, I didn't even think about the narcissist at all yesterday. When you get to that place, my friend, you're going to turn around and look at yourself and you're going to go, holy crap, I'm the strongest person I know in real life. I promise. I want you to try this. I want you to focus on being strong, on being secure in yourself, and I'm not needing anybody to future fake you. From here on out, it's all about you and what you want in the world, okay? All right, now this brings me to the question of the day. And the question of the day is, have you been future faked? What did your narcissist say or do that made you believe something that wasn't true? How did they future fake you? Or is this a new concept for you? Share your thoughts and your ideas and your experiences in the comments below and let's talk about it. Your comment might help another survivor to feel not so alone today. That's all I've got for you right now. Thank you so much for being a part of my day and a part of my life. And hey, thanks for letting me be a part of yours. It really does mean a lot to me. I'll see you soon. It's my mission to teach others what I know to be true. You really can create the life you want. Take care of your body. Take care of your soul. Nurture the real you and introduce him or her to the world. Be comfortable in your own skin and in your place in this world. Take your spot. Take it now. And the universe will take its cue from you. You feel me? If so, subscribe to my channel. Let's get it done together.